Continuing to fill questions for US Simili, I have a student from within our Telegram group asking if for US Simili, if it's ideal to do just self-study or if there is a utility or potential synergism that could be garnered from engaging with a study partner or partners, okay? So is there utility in that? And I can give you a very fucking clean and excellent answer here. So before you get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. I'm E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So self-study, is that ideal? Or is there utility, potential synergism uh, that could be gleaned from having a study partner? And my response here, as I said, give you a very clean answer is it doesn't fucking matter. It's a, it comes down to self-awareness as far as uh, you watching this clip will uh, have that awareness as to whether a study partner would benefit you or not. I personally never had a study partner. I just engaged in self-study. Okay. You just, you have to not procrastinate. That's what it comes down to. You have to get your fucking work done. If having a study partner literally means there's active mutual uh, engagement, uh, then that could function to increase retention of material. Yes, I don't think that that would overall need to be a significant part of your USMLE prep. And that's because what I preach for USMLE, getting your scores up as much as possible, that's the goal, right? It comes down to doing questions. Now, you're going to have to sit at a fucking computer in silence, yes. And you're going to have to knock out questions. All UWorld, all of the NBME exams I've made, Tons of clips here on the YouTube of how to prep for US Simile. I'm staying concise regarding this topic of study partners right now. But you're going to have to do all these questions. Now, for those of you who literally OCD, or I should say ADHD the fuck out, and you can't stay focused doing questions, sometimes, and I know students who've done this before, they might have an open Zoom or an open Skype call with another student, and then they're literally just like holding hands over the Skype and they're doing questions together because. If two people are doing them at the same time, they can stay focused, okay? So once again, it comes down to self-awareness as far as do you need someone there to hold your hand? Uh, do you need to bounce factoids off each other? But I think overall, uh, it's not going to constitute the majority of one's prep. I think you have to just accept the fact that the bulk of your study is going to be self-study. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.